Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. In this video, we're going to talk about a report that is coming from the Daily Mail, right? They are saying that Bianca Sensori and Kanye West had a huge fight after she returned from Australia, which scared her friends who have accused the rapper of treating her like a puppet by making her wear bizarre nude outfits with stuffed toys. Now, guys, when I saw this article, right, I immediately did a random search because sometimes what happens is that when you type in a particular phrase, um, depending on, on what search browser you're using, it may compile the articles that is being reported from different media outlets on the subject or topic. So when I did the search, it was compiled. And at the end of the compilation, it says none of this information has been verified to be factual. And I said, yes, there you go. Because we know that the media has always been going off and Ye and Bianca, they're always just making up stories about them, right? And this time, it's no exception because Ye was in Dubai. They had to be very careful about, you know, how they reported about Ye and his wife in Dubai because the government over there does not play like that when it comes to their country, their guest, you know, their citizens, they don't play it like that. So the media could not just go about having their way. So now that Ye is back in Miami, you know, the Daily Fail, they're just back to their old dirty ways. They're basically saying that, you know, when Bianca left Australia and um, returned to Ye in Dubai. She had control of herself. She was seen being chatty with people. She looked happy. But then they're saying that Ye had a huge fight with her because Ye wants to have her under his control. He wants to treat her like a puppet and he's forcing her to dress nude and to pose with these stuffed toys. That's what the Daily Fail is saying, right? Now, guys, do you remember when I said to you that Bianca's friend was there cheering her on in the last outfit that she wore? And that's the guy that she has always worked with. His name is... Tanil, um, Tanil Raif, he's saying that's one of the oddest looks that she has rocked and he's totally down for it, right? Now, just imagine we're seeing from Bianca's friend, Bianca's friend's friend is giving her the thumbs up on her outfit, but then the media wants us to believe that her friends are frightened, they're scared for her because when she returned to Kanye for the Dubai, um, for the party in Dubai, she was more herself than she's ever been with him. But they're saying this did not sit well with Ye. She wore what she wanted and she was seen talking to people, being flirty and having a good time, right? They're talking about, you know, at the party in Dubai. But they were at the Art Bezo show in Miami over the weekend. Didn't we see Bianca being chatty chatty, dancing, getting lap dance from Sky? So it goes to show that the media consistently makes mischief on this couple. And because they know that there are people who likes the mess and the dirt on Ye, they keep doing it. But you know what's going to happen this time around, it's not going to work because social media is paying attention now more than ever. They have been able to identify that there is a definite assault against Ye by the media. And this is why they have been calling out the media reports 
a lot since recently. Because listen to this, right? I want you guys to bear with me for a second. They are saying, listen what the media is saying. They're saying, because Bianca, you know, was in Dubai having fun, being chatty, socializing with people, that had apparently caused a huge fight with them because he does not like his woman to be themselves. <laughs> They're also saying that he wants them to be sexy, but sexy with what he wants them to, to wear. The next time she's out, she's naked with a stuffed animal. They're saying, you know, it's like a child holding onto their stuffed animal or their blanket. They do it because they feel secure with it. It helps to relieve their, to relieve their anxiety. But when a grown woman is naked in public carrying a stuffed animal, this scares those who know her instead of carrying a teddy bear she should be holding on to her husband's hand she's almost a puppet at this point in Kanye's play right end of what they have to say there for now now remember that um i said to you guys bianca she definitely has anxiety and the media with what they have been doing to her has caused her anxiety to be, you know, a bit worse. But what she also has been doing, she has been trolling the media a lot because they believe that she's been so controlled, right? And she's saying, you know, since y'all think I'm being so controlled, let me show you guys what someone can actually control a stuffed toy you cannot control a grown person someone who is free and someone who is well aware that they are free to live their life on their terms and what is even more disgusting about it is the fact that if you notice when she was in australia she was dressing the same manner her same usual showing a lot of skin and if you are willing to go further and you can do random Google search, before she was with you, she has always dressed like that. I've shown you guys photos of her and her ex um, fiance, right? Do you guys remember those photos? And her and her girls, you know, her friends, they were all, you know, showing skin you know some was boobage some was you know tiny strings holding their outfit together so this is how she has always dressed this is how her friends have always dressed so why is it that the media is painting ye consistently to be a villain when he is not why is it that, if you guys remember, when she was in Australia, I said to you guys, do you notice how she's dressed in nudity? But do you also notice how the media fails to acknowledge that she is dressing nude? And I also remember going a bit further to show you guys outfits that she would wear when she was with her ex and they were all nude, partially nude, and in some case, she was just showing a lot, just as what she's doing now. So why is it that the media has never spoke about her nudity from her past with her ex-fiance? The media never spoke about her nudity when she went back to Australia to visit without Ye. But the moment that she's around Ye, that's the moment that the media wants to talk about your nudity and not just talk about it. They are holding you accountable for a grown woman's dis um, decision as though the internet does not have sense to realize that the media is just painting you 
to be a bad guy. They are deliberately attacking this man, right? This is a fallacious attack. It is. It's lies and it is laced with an agenda because evidently some people, they don't know how to get over things. And because Ye made a statement that is offensive to some people, they are still in their feelings about it. So they want to, you know, ruin him for this. But it's not working because the only thing that the media is doing at this point, they're just exposing their true nature, which is very sadistic. And this is why many people does not respect their journalism because it's very poor, very lacking, very unprofessional, and filled with fallacies. Guys, remember, we have evidence that we can use and we don't need the media to tell us that, you know, Ye and Bianca had a huge fight. They had no huge fight. No friends are caring or crying, thinking that Bianca is being controlled. It is all a brainwash conspiracy theory. Look at the facts. The photos are there. Look at the photos of Bianca before she was with Ye. Look at the photos of Bianca and her pre and, and her previous fiance. Look at the photos of Bianca with her girls when she was back in Australia. And you'll get your answer there. You will realize that the media is just making mischief on Ye because they know they can do it and get away with it. And as such, they do it to make money off him. They do it to ruin his image and reputation. But while women are out there crying about being victims of Diddy, you do not see the media following up on those cases. And that's how you know who Diddy's three masters are. And that's all I have to say about that. Let me know what are your thoughts while you're at it. Go ahead, give this video a big thumbs up, share if you care, and see you guys later. Peace.